Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The confirmation hearing is underway. Eric Palacios sitting before senators in a hearing the community already expected to be controversial. We caught up with Palacios earlier today. His leadership in question. The acting director of the Guang Customs appearing for his confirmation hearing to determine whether he will remain the man in charge. Palacios was appointed two months back to lead the agency causing uproar over his qualifications. I do have plant protection and quarantine experience as well um, from early in my working career. Palash is trying to prove the naysayers wrong. Just on Friday, I responded in the affirmative to the Department of Administration to proceed with providing us with a, a certified list of candidates mm -hmm. for 29 mm -hmm. recruits. Recruits, he says, would replace the 35 officers lost in the years that followed findings of corruption within the agency. Palash is even touting renewed agreements with sister agencies in the CNMI and federal agencies like ATF and the U.S. Postal Inspection Service. We just memorialized our understanding of wanting to help each other, wanting to share resources, um, share intel uh, reports that, uh, that we get and that they get, and seeing where um, we can bridge our collective enforcement efforts. And he says his work is far from over. I'm going to make it my priority. Um, to finally get the officers uh, hazardous duty pay because they deserve it. Um, it's going to be, is going to remain my priority to work on on promotions that are, are that have been long-standing, well-deserved promotions for both uniform and civilians. Uh, it's going to remain my priority um, to hire more personnel, both uniform and civilians. Issues that, if rectified, he says, could ultimately better improve the protection of borders and interception of drugs. When we don't provide those opportunities, uh, the government is really uh, doing them an injustice. Though the outcome from Monday's hearing rests in the hands of lawmakers, Palacios is confident and ready to continue leading the agency. Through the end of the administration, absolutely. I would love to. We've begun so many different projects, and I'd like to see a lot of them through mm -hmm. or continue to push them forward. Beyond the current administration, if the opportunity presented itself to come back to customs, I would do it in a heartbeat. We will follow tonight's hearing and bring you more on KOAM.com and on Primetime Tuesday. Back to you. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.